this is a huge wake-up call. Uh, if they can uh, wreak that kind of havoc in the entertainment industry, then uh, you know, you've got to worry at uh, where else their reach is. So how much of a wake-up call is it really? That's Arizona Republican Jeff Flake reacting to Sony canceling the release of that movie. The group behind cyber attack and threats say they're angry because North Korean leader Kim Jong-un is assassinated at the end of that movie. Cyber experts warn that canceling the film only strengthens the hackers, fueling more attacks in the future. Now the FBI is trying to find out who might be behind it. My next guest is dubious about all that that I just said. Vinny Troy is a computer security expert, a certified ethical hacker, and computer forensic investigator. Vinny, it's good to have you back on our program. And good morning to you there Thank you. Uh, in St. Louis. Let's good take morning. it point by point. You think the connection between North Korea and Sony is dubious at best. Why? At best. I mean, the only remote shred of evidence that even exists at this point is that the malware that was used within the Sony, uh, that was associated with the Sony attack, was calling back to an IP address in North Korea. Now, the, the problem with this evidence is that the malware wasn't unique to the Sony job. The malware was actually recycled uh, and purchased somewhere else. So it's very possible that this call back to a, a North Korean IP address was just something that was already in the script. I mean, we, we really have no way of knowing. Wow. So just to be clear on this, and the Wall Street Journal's reporting that a single link was traced back to North Korea. How many links could there be in right. something like this? I, I mean, it, it's 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 impossible to say. I mean, there could be a number of sort of call home device or call home um, signals. But I mean, the the point is, for something like this, there's really no reason for a piece of malware to call home. I mean, the the intent is to steal and distribute. I mean, the the pieces don't ju they just don't add up. I mean, and so to look at really to sort of grind into where this piece of malware or where this virus came from. I mean, it, it's very obvious that it wasn't specific to this so, job. Wh and why so, are they? Are you talking about hundreds of links, or even thousands, or even more than that? Just give me a sense of. Well, I mean, it, it, to be honest, it varies per 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 piece of malware. I mean, for something like this, there really shouldn't have been any. Um, so it's possible hmm. it was even used for something else altogether. Oh, so why are they blaming North Korea? What 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 makes sense to you, Vinny? Uh, I think that. In the event that this turns out to be either a disgruntled employee or an inside job, you know, there's so much attention around this right now that they need that somebody needs to point the finger at somebody else. And so it's, it's easy to point the finger at North Korea and say, you know, this is, you know, an attack because of the, the movie. But realistically, you know, if I was if I was the person, you know, committing this crime, it wouldn't take anything for me to write a note, put it out there, get everybody completely freaked out about it. And then now all of a sudden, you know, the attention's on North Korea and away from the real criminal. Mm. And to pull this off, you mentioned an insider. Would it have to be an inside job, yeah. someone who truly understands the system? There, there's so much of a volume of information that came from, from Sony that it would, it would be almost impossible for this to occur um, completely from the outside. I mean, we're talking about emails, financial records, network drives, passwords, you know, password keys, I mean, there was so much of it. Somebody knew exactly what to get and where to get it. So this could have been someone who was ticked off of the company uh, for any one of a number of reasons. Maybe this movie had something to do with it. Maybe it did not at all. Right. I mean, if I was, you know, if, if this was me perpetrating the attack, I mean, I would look for the best possible scapegoat. And in this case, I mean, people suspected North Korea from the beginning for whatever reason. And even a few weeks ago, the FBI came out and said, you know, there's no credible link to North Korea at all. And now they seem to be changing their tune a little bit because mm -hmm. I think, you know, again, the movie was canceled and there's so much heat around it and they need to point the finger somewhere yeah. quickly. Uh, Vinny, one last question, just on a personal level. Should we be worried about our own company email? Should we be worried about our, our bank accounts? Do, do you think this is that significant that we've gone to a new level of hacking on this story? You know, it's, we've definitely gone to a new level of data breach, um, but... You know, we actually learned just a few days ago that there was there's an FBI hacker informant named Sebu who came out and said that Sony had these vulnerabilities present for the past six years and they never did anything to fix them. And unfortunately, I think a lot of companies are falling down this path where they're really, you know, they still have the mentality of, well, this just isn't going to happen to me and I can put it off. No. And so from that perspective, there's absolutely something to worry about. Bit, but people or companies need to wise up. Yeah. We're out of time, but thank you. We're going to bring you back, okay? Vinny Troya out of St. Louis. Thank, thank you, you, Vinny, very much. Appreciate that.